Hello everybody. As you can see, um, I just received the Desert Hydra as a Scorn player. Um, figured might as well get it. The Errata should be out soon and uh, hopefully everything will be better. So, still has the foil on it. Well, not the foil, but the uh, plastic wrap on it. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that and we'll just do an unboxing real quick. See, you know, the, the pretty plastic and and everything else that goes with this thing. Alright. So, this got shipped to me. Unfortunately, the box got a little dinged up. As you can see right here. But I think that should be more than fine. It's an unbuilt model. Look at that. Um, plastic on sprues. In bag. This looks like I'm going to be spending a lot of time building something. Yes, yeah, so you have a good portion of the body there. What looks to be more of the body there. Oh, heads and teeth, maybe? I don't know. Heads and feet. Ah, another one of the, uh, the main bodies right there. Everybody's favorite, the big base. Ooh, look at that. Now this is something I wish I would have had for my Conquest before I built my Conquest. Instructions on how to build it. Because there was times it was dry fit to see before you pin. So this is good to have. And then of course, the cards. So, boom, everybody's seen them already. War Room and everything else. Plus, the Rata says they're going to change anyways. So, we'll put that back in. We'll put this back in. This back in. We'll move this out of the way. And I want to take a look at these. This one. Well, I'll take a look at this one real quick. So, what we'll do is we'll just uh, prop her on open. All right. It's actually a pretty thick, pla you know, feeling plastic. It not, doesn't seem like it's going to be uh, too thin or, or brittle, you know, like uh, like some resin would be or something. So it, you know, feels like a good hard plastic. Um, let's see, mold lines. You know, there's probably going to be some mold line removal. You know, see some here on the back side of the uh, the one head. But it looks like uh, for the assembly, I don't know if you can see it here, but it looks like it has little dots there for where things go slide in. And then, like, uh, I guess this is a set of legs. Kind of hard to see. But there's little little nibs that stick it out to, to help you line up. So, yeah, this, thing's like, this looks like it should be a fairly straightforward uh, assembly once you get it all broke free and read the instructions and and get it all put together, or start putting it together. I guess this is going to be its base, you know, what will attach it to the base, because, you know, little legs and, you know, happy stuff. And this looks like it's going to be the under, the underbelly. Um, but all in all, this looks like a really nice, uh, nice model. I think I'm going to enjoy putting it together. And uh, I can't wait to see uh, how well it goes together. Now, one thing I will say that I do have uh, some dread over for this is, as you can see from the cover, you know, it has the different heads, different angles, everything's intertwined and wrapping around. That's going to be a pain, I think, to paint. So that's, I think I'm going to have to dry fit the heads see how well they fit and then uh, see if I shouldn't paint them separately before I do the complete uh, you know before I complete assembling it but you know a lot of colossals and gargantuans are done that way as well I know for my mammoth I ended up uh, painting it without its cannons on its back or its head because it just made it easier that way um, but yeah I mean this looks like a very solid model all the different uh, sprues seem very solid. Um, one thing to note, 
for anybody that uh, remembers the old, uh, you know, plastic snap-on models we all used to build, they all have little numbers next to them to probably go, you know, to go with the instructions so people know which numbers they're looking for to go to which piece. So it's not like, well, this looks like it could be here, this looks like it could be there. It's nice they put little numbers next to it to make it easier to know which piece goes into which slot. So, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to start doing next. Uh, get the instructions out, read the instructions, and start building. All right, well, that is the unboxing of the Desert Hydra. Thanks for watching.